Using Windows 7 App Locker and Microsoft Application Virtualization together ensures that users only run those applications allowed by IT, enabling increased management and control of the desktop. This screencast shows how to use the capabilities together with a specific focus on Windows installer rules. App Locker is a new feature of Windows 7 that allows administrators to define policies that can allow or deny a user's ability to run or install executable MSI or script files. Microsoft Application Virtualization, or FV, separates the application from the operating system, preventing application conflicts and enabling the ability to run multiple versions of an application on the same desktop. Virtual applications can be delivered in many ways, streaming by assigning applications to users, delivering to machines via Configuration Manager, or by using file streaming from removable media. Using AppV and AppLocker together ensures that no matter how the application is delivered or what format it takes, physical or virtual, it will respect the policies defined by IT. In this screencast, I'll demonstrate how IT can create an AppLocker Windows installer policy for virtual applications. AppV virtual applications look the same as traditional physical applications. We have a number of virtual applications installed that we'll use during this screencast. Let's take a look at our existing app locker rules. Right now, users of Contesto.com are allowed to run Windows installer files in the C Windows installer directory. At Contoso, there are many users who do not always connect to the network and have limited IT support locally. For these users, IT sends them a USB backup drive that contains all of their virtual applications. In the event that something happens to their machines or their applications, they can quickly reload their virtual applications by streaming them from the USB backup drive and be up and running in seconds. IT wants to make sure that only MSIs that are digitally signed can be run by these remote users. Additionally, IT wants to make sure that if the user loses the USB backup drive, that nobody else can use the applications, thus protecting their licenses. They've enabled BitLocker to go to secure the drive and the virtual applications. Let's create a rule that allows users to run all signed MSI packages. This ensures the authenticity of the MSI and requires that it is signed in order to run. I navigate to the Windows Installer rules and right-click to create a new rule. I want to make this an Allow rule to enable all users to launch the Adobe Reader MSI. We'll select Publisher as the primary condition and choose Next. I'll navigate to the path where my MSI is located and select it. All of the information about the signed file is pre-populated, including the publisher name. The slider to the left indicates that all of the primary conditions must be met for this MSI to be able to launch. As I move the bar up, less conditions are required, loosening the rules. I'll leave the default settings and go ahead and create the rule. Now, I'm going back to my USB drive and load Adobe Reader. I insert the USB drive into my PC. IT has enabled BitLocker to go on all removable devices at Contoso to ensure that the applications, the associated license, and any data are secure in the event that the drive is lost or stolen. I'll go ahead and unlock the drive and access Adobe Reader. Here, I select the MSI. By double-clicking the MSI, I am initiating file-based streaming from the USB drive to the AppV cache on the desktop. You can see that I am able to successfully add Reader. To demonstrate that the rule only allows for Adobe Reader MSI, I'll launch another MSI, winzip.msi. You can see the launch fails because the two rules we have defined do not allow the user to launch winzip.msi or allow an unsigned MSI to be launched from the specified location. This ensures that only a trusted, signed version of Adobe Reader can be loaded into the cache. Let's go back into our AppLocker rules and enable the user's ability to stream winzip.msi from our USB drive. We'll create a new Windows installer rule, but this time we'll select a path rule instead of a publisher rule. This method is less secure as it's not going to check the publisher information or look for a signature. I've created the rule and you can see it here. Now, I'm going to go back to my USB drive and launch winzip.msi. With the rule created, we no longer get our administrator restriction error message, 
and the installation stream initiates. It continues to install WinZip successfully. In this screencast, I showed you how AppLocker can be used to restrict or allow users from running virtual applications. We demonstrated this using applications that have been streamed from an AppV server as well as applications that are streamed from a removable device. In this session, we use local policy, but these policies can also be defined via group policies at the domain level. AppV respects the rules defined within AppLocker, giving IT a single, simple solution to define application policies for both physical and virtual applications.